Welcome back to the Value Investors Club. I'm your host, Timo Wunderlich. Let's get right into it with VIC readings, the format where we look at the best of the best value investment recommendations by the best of the best value investors out there. Today, we have Claris Inc., ticker is C-A-L. Uh, perhaps at the point of filing, it's $21.60. Please write down in the comments below if you have invested, will invest, or why not into Claris. And uh, this is, let me tell you, this is not recommendation, not advice. Please do your own diligence before investing into anything. Description. Kilaris is a diversified footwear retailer owning the famous footwear brand of stores, 870 stores, along with a brand portfolio which is made up of multiple mid to high end footwear brands skewed to female shoppers and sold directly. Uh, through mid to high end departments and independent footwear stores, as well as uh, through the famous footwear stores. Woodrow did a nice write up on the stock in May of 2019, but there have been some material changes over the past three and a half years, which we address below. Famous Footwear generates approximately 1.7 billion of revenue through 870 retail, retail locations and a growing e commerce web presence. Uh, Famous sells mostly well-known popular national brands of athletic, casual, and fashion footwear at a value. Famous also sells uh, footwear from company-owned and licensed brands, making up 5% of sales. The company believes their average demographic is $9,200,000, so skewing to a more resilient higher-end customer. Differentiating from independence and other footwear peers as destination famous has held onto its solid relationship with Nike. Nike has pulled out a significant uh, number of independent retailers as well as some large peers, including DSW, providing market share opportunities for Calaris for consumers looking for Nike. Famous has spent multiple years uh, crueling real estate but has now stabilized its real est- retail footprint uh, while growing sales online. Famous uh, holds solid mid-40s gross margins and low-teens operating margins. Regarding owned brands, CAL is a very focused on increasing owned brands as a percentage at Famous. Brand Portfolio sells owned and licensed footwear on a wholesale basis to retailer direct to consumer through branded stores and e-commerce channels. Brand names include Sam Edelman, uh, Vionic uh, Naturalizer, Dr. Schultz Shoes, Alan Edmonds, Lifestride, uh, Franco Sarto, Rika Vines, uh, Bzis, Zodiac, and Veronica Beard. The brand portfolio also operates 86 small footprint stores, mostly Alan Edmonds and Sam Edelman. Starting before COVID, the company sold or closed multiple brands within the brand portfolio, which were underperforming and or losing money. Uh, the remaining portfolio is now much healthier, healthier with a 37% gross margin, solid for wholesale bi- footwear business along with high single-digit operating margins and solid cash flow generation. Investment Opportunity The attractiveness of the opportunity is the material uh, mispriced equity generates significant cash, especially relative to retail and other footwear peers. Calaris has guided to EPS of $4.30 to $4.40. The stock sold off on earnings this November started weak for most of the retail industry. Calaris chose to guide quite conservatively with famous assumed to have revenue down high single digit and brand portfolio up mid single digits. We expect a final Q4 results to be nicely above guidance as a normal seasonal pattern recovers into Christmas. We also expect solid free cash flow generation in Q4 as inventory should continue to move lower, close to matching annual sales growth after starting the year up significantly on logistics issues that hit all of retail. Our forward estimates of 2023 assume minimal sales growth and assume that the consumer continues to be under some pressure in spite of the potentially weaker consumer environment. Calaris should still experience a few tailwinds on the cost and cash flow side. Expansive and difficult logistics cost uh, Calaris revenue margin and cash flow in 2021 and early 2022. Lower transportation uh, tra- transportation slash shipping costs should help offset a potentially more promotional sales environment. Shrinking inventory uh, should drive better working capital management. Importantly, giving a, given a very low maintenance capex burden, Kilaris should generate a significant excess cash. Uh, 
The cash will be deployed in an accredited way, a, company, a combination of debt repayment and share repurchase. Cap structure. Calaris should end the year with about 225 million of net debt on its on all on its revolver. We expect debt to be fully paid off or term it out over the next 18 months. The company can be patient for a more favorable rate environment. By paying off debt completely, Calaris could save, uh, save 40 to 50 cents from interest expense, which would also help uh, the equity multiple. The company could also continue repurchasing shares, as the company has repurchased approximately 7% of shares through three quarters, as mentioned. We would expect a combination of debt repayment and share repurchase to benefit shareholders. We believe the equity is too cheap and, in our view, makes for an attractive target for private equity. While not essential to our thesis, in the medium term, the company could just effectively continue to take itself privately, slowly, slowly via share repurchase. Note that, to date, the company has purchased 2.6 million shares, representing roughly 7% of the total shares outstanding, and has 6.4 million shares remaining on their repo authorization. Yo. Upside slash downside. If we assume Calaris can just trade to the mean of non-growth shoe retailers, such as Public Peers, such as Shoe Carnival, uh, Ganesco, Foot Locker, then Calaris would have significant upside. At a PE of just 7 to 8x 2023, Calaris would show 80% upside. At an EV EBITDA multiple of 5x with a bid of upside to shares, the amount of uh, shares the stock show, would show similar upside. Catalyst, private label, vertical, uh, vertical integration, mix, shift. Delevered and company buybacks. Delever, delevering. Um, and company buybacks, continued execution, reasonable PE acquisition candidate. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you next time. Please write down in the comments below what you think of this company. I actually think it's quite interesting and I will look, take a further look at it.